Hey, hello. Do you know the formula to calculate area of circle? Well, that's an easy one. It's pi r square. What would you take the value of pi? The approximate value of pi is 3.14 or 22 by 7. Of course, the actual value of pi continues to several number of decimal places. But do you know where did this value come from? Or why would we consider the approximate value of pi to be 3.14 or 22 by 7? Let's find out with the help of an activity. Hey everyone, welcome to Practically. We bring learning ally. Now to perform this activity, we would be needing circular objects of different sizes. For starters, let us consider a lid of this bottle which is in the shape of a circle, right? Now, we need to measure the diameter of it with the help of a ruler. Just take a ruler, measure the diameter. And what's the diameter? Diameter of the circle is the straight line, which starts at a point on the boundary of the circle, passes through the center and ends on the other side. Now, note down the measurement of the diameter. So, what is the measurement we got? The length of the diameter is nothing but 8 centimeters. Next, to measure the circumference of the circle, we need to have thread and scissors. Yes, you heard it right. Now, take a thread, place one end of the thread at this point A and move the thread along the boundary of the circle till you reach back at A. Now, cut the thread here. Now, take the thread with the help of the ruler, measure it. So, what is the length we got? 25.1328 centimeters. Now we got circumference, we also got the diameter. Just perform the division. Super easy, right? So divide circumference by diameter. What's the answer we got? 3.145. Okay, let's keep that aside. Isn't it the approximate value we consider to be pi? That is 3.14. Okay, let's not just get to the conclusion. Now we will be taking another circular object of a bigger size. No, so let's consider wheel of the bicycle. So here's the wheel of bicycle. Now perform the same activity. Measure the diameter, record it. Measure the circumference, also to record it. Now divide the circumference by diameter. What is the value we got? 3.1428. Okay, that's surprising because this is the value similar to the previous case. So, can I conclude that circumference by diameter is approximately equal to 3.14? Maybe I can. Also, I can define pi. Pi is defined as the ratio of circumference to diameter. This is the reason we take pi to be 3.14 or 22 by 7. Alright. Okay. Now, what observation did we make from this activity? No matter how big or small the circle is, the ratio of circumference to diameter is approximately equal to 3.14, which is nothing but the value of pi. This is how the value of pi is derived. Thank you everyone. Let us meet in the next session. Bye-bye. Bring learning alive. Practically.